We all know that the EOS R5 isn't at times the easiest footage to edit in, especially if you shoot your footage in 4K at 120 frames a second in C-Log, as pretty much every computer out there will struggle just playing it back. So what usually happens is that most of us will have to make time-consuming proxies just to be able to edit the footage on the timeline. Well, today you're in luck. I thought about showing you guys a simple hack that I've discovered to speed up my workflow when I need to edit that processor intensive footage and you no longer need to make proxies for the footage anymore. Okay, for this hack, you would however need these few things. Besides the EOS R5, which is pretty much obvious, you would need an Atomos Ninja 5 mainly and an HDMI cable. The rest are entirely up to you, but I use them just to rig it up onto my small rig cage a lot easier. So I'm always ready whenever I need to do this workaround. So the first thing that you should do is make sure that your Ninja 5 recording settings is set at the highest possible settings. And I usually leave my Atomos Ninja 5 recording at ProRes HQ. Okay, now all you need to do once you have the Atomos Ninja 5 connected to the camera is that you would just need to play back the 4K 120 frames a second C-Log footage on the EOS R5. Wait for the signal to reach the Ninja 5. And once you see the playback screen, start the recording on the Ninja 5 first, and then start the playback on the EOS R5. The whole reason I do it this way is so that I manage to make sure that I get the footage right from the beginning and whatever parts that I don't need, I can always trim it off later in post. Once you finish recording, bring the footage onto your computer and you can start editing and even playing it back. You're not going to have any problems because it's ProRes HQ. I can guarantee you almost any computer that you put this footage onto will be able to play back with it and even edit it and it will be as smooth as butter, believe me. Because of that, now I'm not too worried anymore whenever I shoot a lot of 4K 120 on my EOS R5 as I don't have to make any more proxies for it. I guess the only real setback for this workaround would be that you would require a recorder just to do this. But because I have one, I thought I might as well share this workaround to save you guys some time too. Okay, so that's basically it for my quick tip on how you can actually speed up your workflow whenever you're doing 4K 120 in C-Log on the EOS R5. I wanted to make this video because previous to this, I actually know that the 4K 120 can't be recorded directly onto the recorder while you shoot. However, the next best thing is at least playback is supported. So that means you can transcode the video in real time with a really good codec. And it's my new workaround whenever I shoot in 4K 120 in C-Log. So that means now you can transcode your 4K 120 C-Log in real time with a really good codec. Anyway, I hope you did find this video helpful. And if you did, please don't forget to give us a like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.